What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about the core essential rifle and pistol mags that they have available. everybody like I said we're gonna be talking about the core essential uh, rifle and pistol mags that they now have available uh, they have other great options out there so when you get ready to get your mags uh, as far as the belt we're not gonna be talking about the belt today I've already done a review on the belt we're gonna have an update coming for that but you can go back in and look at my uh, original video where we did the review for the belt today it's just about the mag pouches i just didn't want to take them off the belt so you can see what they look like on the belt we can talk about the type of clip that they use so they use a malice clip uh, not a molly clip they use a malice clip the malice clips are molly compatible so they will work with your molly as you can see this has molly attachments but if you've got something else you want to attach it to that has molly attachments whether it be a bag backpack you know carry on whatever it might be you've got that option there uh, to me the malice clips <coughs> excuse me the malice clips are a little more not soft what am i looking for here a little more flexible to me than what the molly clips are and it gives you a little bit more flexibility when you actually install them because you can kind of run it back through another little loop and to me it really as you can see, these things, they're not sliding around, they're not moving around. So some of your Molly clips, you gotta make sure you get the right sizes. And then even then, sometimes they're, they're still gonna have a little bit of movement to them. So with these Malice clips, as you can see, they're not moving up or down or anything like that. Like I said, some of the Molly clips can move up and down, especially if you don't get the right size. And I've made that mistake, so it happens. But yes, the Malice clips, are a little more flexible and to me a little bit more secure than what the molly clips are of course your pistol mags come with one malice clip your rifle mags come with two malice clips all right the other great thing with these malice clips and these being soft shell okay they're not hard shell these are soft shell some people call them taco mag pouches there's all kind of weird names out there for them but these are stackable so you can take the pistol mags and stack them right down through here on top of the rifle mags if that's what you like i don't like that i like having them separate okay that's just how i run mine there's no right or wrong to it they are 500d nylon material so like i said not a hard shell they are a soft shell mag pouch the rifle mags are rated for ar style mags i did slide an ak mag in there it fit uh, it was, I had to loosen it. It was still a little snug, but it worked. So that's just because it says AR style mags. I did try some AK mags in here. I even tried some AR 10 mags, which are holding a 308 and they did fit in here. Again, I did have to loosen. So you've got your drawstrings here. All right. So take it out, stick your hand down in there and loosen it up. All right. And then you can cinch it up however you want to do it. So it does have your cinch cord so you can loosen and tighten that mag. So don't just think because when you go in there and read, it says AR style mags. I, it does work with other mags. Now, of course, I don't have like a SCAR or unfortunately access to one or a Mini 14 or some other guns out there or some other rifles out there that take magazines. Also, your shotguns that take magazines. Those might be a little big all right this is just kind of initial discussion initial review there is more i'm going to do with it there's more i want to run with these but i really haven't ran them if you know what i mean i've really gotten in there and ran them so they've been run but they haven't been ran all right now if you need me to explain that difference okay maybe we need to do a different video no i'm just kidding so what i mean is i've ran them in some classes all right teaching and taking classes but the classes that I took, we didn't run them. We didn't really run the gear. We weren't up and down, rolling around on the ground, things like that. Uh, train and learn what we did a little bit. 
there were some awkward positions that we got in uh, working with Jason from WyoTac. So shout out to him. I'm not going to break the little secret on what that position is just yet. Uh, we've got an interview with him that's going to be coming out a little bit later. And we'll talk about that wonderful position that he had us in. Jason, if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about, brother. All right. That he, he, he brought something totally new into my world um, and something I had never thought about before. And that's what's a great thing about training learning. But getting back to the magpies, sorry, that I wanted to explain. We were in some weird positions, but we weren't really rolling around on the ground. We weren't really running. So there is going to be some follow up video on the mag pouches here. Uh, while I'm hoping to have some other magazines like the shotgun mags, but looking at them, looking at this, it's probably going to be a tight fit. I'm not going to say it's not going to work, but we're going to give it a try and see what happens. So again, AR style mags is what it is says it's for, but AK and AR-10 mags I have used in these and they work just fine. Pistol mag pouches are rated for on, down to, I shouldn't say only, down to a Glock 19 size mag. I'm not saying they're just rated for Glock mags, but just as a comparison, a Glock 19 is only 15 round mag. Let's go that route. Okay, 15 round. Now, yes, Glock 26, unfortunately, not rated i'm not going to say it won't work they're just not going to sit all the way down in the mag because they're going to be shorter might be harder to grab you know they might slip down in there and get a little bit harder to grab when you go to do your mag changes so just like you know your small mags your i guess you would say subcompact micro compact mags won't work in these i'll be honest i haven't really tried it to see i'm willing to bet they'll probably do all right but it's going to depend on what type of maybe mag extension or base plate you have on them as far as how easy it is to grab them out. But 15 round mags, Glock 19, something like that. MP shield, we can sit here and go on and on and on. Still the same material, 500D nylon, just like the rifle mags. These hold double stack mags, so Glock 19, double stack is what it's rated for. I have ran single stack mags in here um, just to try it out to see how that worked and then I just had to cinch it down a little bit a little bit tighter than what I normally would for the double stack mags but they stayed in there and they were metal mags so they stayed in there again I wasn't running it like up down all that stuff rolling around on the ground but they stayed in there because I've had some where they just a little bit of movement to them and they start falling out I won't lie, I was a little worried when I started using the Canic mags. So we've got 18 round mags, I've got mag extensions on them where I can get anywhere um, from 25, no, 22 to like 27 rounds. So they're very tall. I was a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little worried. I thought, we get down here and these things ain't gonna be doing too good and be falling out. Some of those weird positions we were in with Jason from WyoTac tested it out they didn't slide out so i was impressed with that before i started i did cinch it down just a little bit extra just to be on the safe side but they hung in there they didn't drop out they didn't fall out so these are some really really good mags right here and really really good prices on them uh i will say some of y'all gonna be like what an idiot the only complaint that i have or i shouldn't say complaint we're not no 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 that's that's harsh it's too harsh. The only slight adjustment is, or that I would like to see made, you know, I'm gonna be like, what a freaking more, I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, what a more, I can't put my phone down in here. Wait, 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 wait. So I mean, when I'm teaching, I keep my phone on me, not because, hey, look, I respect my students and their time. I'm not answering phone calls, stuff like that. I keep my phone on me because in case I need to snap, some quick pictures of maybe something in the class, something that happened, something somebody's doing so they can actually see it instead of me just talking about it. Or they did something really, really good and I want to get a picture of it. So I do stick, if it's a handgun class, I do stick my camera down or my phone down in here. If I'm running rifles, then I drop them in, drop it in my dump pouch or maybe my pocket. But 
can't get my phone down in here, so I don't like carrying it in my pocket sometimes when I'm teaching class. Yeah, yeah, put your nose up in. Being a little uppity about that, but look, that's not what it's for. So that's just my only little eh with it. Other than that, they're great mags. I'm probably going to go ahead and just swap everything over to them. That's how much I like them. They've done well. The review will come later, but we're going to go a little bit more harder on these. I'm gonna, like, like I said, I'll try out some different other magazines that I can get access to just to see how they work and we'll update that. But for right now, AK, AR, AR-10, they fit. Pistol mags fit. And yes, it says double stack, but single stack will work. So if you're looking for some good mag pouches, here you go. Price range is very affordable for what they, what you're getting. They're right in line with anybody else. But these are good quality mags. Again, I like the Malice Clip. The Malice Clip is, again, a little bit more flexible. So get out to coreessentials.com. That's K-O-R-E, essentials.com. Use code SCGS10, and there you go. Now you're getting some awesome mags and you're going to get a discount off of those mags. If you need other stuff, they have med kits. If you need a med kit, there you go. If you need a tourniquet pouch, there you go. There's a lot more that they offer than just belts. Anything you get from them, SCGS10, you're getting 10% off. Now, this was mainly about these. It wasn't about the belt. If you want to see the belt, go back. There's a review video that's been done uh, a couple of months ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, where we talked about the belt. But there's going to be a follow-up for the belt. There's going to be a follow-up for the mag pouches, so be on the lookout for that as well, too. Thank you, Core. I've enjoyed being an affiliate with you guys. This has been thoroughly awesome. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Y'all go out there, get you some great... And look, I'm not doing this because they didn't they didn't pay me they're not paying me to say this all right i'm an affiliate so you get a promo code you can get a little bit of a discount to get you a great belt and some great mag pouches or med kits or sunglasses or whatever you might need they've got it go out there and check them out this is what you're gonna this is somewhat of what you would need getting into some of your more advanced classes to give you an idea i've got another great video talking about that equipment also, my buddy Clayton from Pivotal Defense, he's got a video talking about some of the equipment involved in some of the more advanced classes. Now, and again, you don't have to have this rig. You can run concealed, whatever, as long as you've got some good mag pouches, good holster. We're gonna be going over some holsters pretty soon as well, too. I've got other videos about that, but we're gonna be doing a review on this one in particular. So again, coreessentials.com, SCGS10. Go check them out, get you some good quality equipment. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.